Look, it happens to the best of us. No matter how great a show is, if it's one known for pushing the envelope, prodding the boundaries of good taste, and needling at the senses' nerves, there will always be some moment which goes too far. Maybe this will be enough to turn audiences off wholesale, or maybe viewers will simply write it off as a bad week for the writer's room. But whatever the outcome, I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are eight TV shows that went too far in completely unexpected ways. Number eight, that inexplicable incest subplot, Dexter. Dexter was never a show worried by the boundaries of good taste. Being based on the admittedly clever and original premise of a serial killer who targets other worse serial killers means that the idea of staying sanitized is thrown out the window fairly early on in development, after all. But after years of the show developing the tender, tragic connection between Dexter and his adopted sister, the no-nonsense cop Deb, who is none the wiser to his murderous pastimes at least for a while, the series picked the weirdest way to throw away seasons of character development and screw up the dramatic tension of Dexter attempting to hide his secret from the only person whose judgement truly mattered to him. And that's because, yep, you guessed it, like Game of Thrones before it, Dexter had Deb reveal that she harbored secret sexual feelings for her brother. And thus, an uncomfortable and wholly unexpected incest subplot reared its head and made a mess of the potentially promising season wherein Deb discovered Dexter's secret double life. Their dynamic never really recovered in the eyes of fans and critics alike, and the show's decline continued until its roundly reviled series finale two seasons after Deb's dramatic revelation. Number seven, the zombie masked sex scenes, The Walking Dead. Like Dexter, The Walking Dead was never, from its violent pilot episode onwards, a show which shied away from the grittier and bleaker side of things. The post-apocalyptic drama saw its heroes face down not only hordes of the undead, but also the worst of humanity as well, offering a vision of the world's end which was about as optimistic as Cormac McCarthy's The Road. However, whilst the arrival of long-lasting villain and eventual deeply, deeply flawed anti-hero Negan did herald some serious ultraviolence that would leave Alex DeLarge himself chucking his Beethoven records out the window, his gruesome antics were at least initially well-grounded in the show's plot and provided drama, tension, and character development along with smashed skulls. What was not so well-grounded was the same character's grotesque hookup with season 10's primary antagonist, the zombie-faced Alpha, which took place while the pair were still wearing the skinned faces of the undead as masks. And yeah, yeah, we are all aware that this one did serve as foreshadowing for later events, but you try sitting through that uncomfortable scene again and tell us that it was necessary. Number six, no heroes in Westeros. Game of Thrones. More than any other show on this list, sorry Negan and Lucille, Game of Thrones pushed the envelope so far and so often that the show could have been called 1001 Ways to Guarantee the Complaints Department Will Be Busy Until Christmas. There was the boundary-pushing violence with heads being crushed and throats being slit in unsparing detail, and there was the relentlessly downbeat grim plot, where no character was safe and evil almost always won the day. So, what could a show like this do that would be seen as an unexpected step too far? Well, it would have to be huge. Huge, like, say, maybe making its penultimate episode a claustrophobic nightmare, depicting one of its only even vaguely heroic characters losing their mind, and slaughtering a city's worth of innocent civilians in brutal detail. Yes, the foreshadowing was there all along for Daenerys' downfall, but when most audiences expected the last episodes of the show would follow the defeat of the Night King, it came as a crushing blow for many more optimistic viewers to see one of the only beloved forces of nominal good on the show be corrupted by power and reducing scores of powerless people to ash over a torturous hour of television. Number 5. Tyler's Assault, 13 Reasons Why Netflix's mega-controversial mega-hit, 13 Reasons Why, was never shy about pushing viewers' as buttons with the show's premise alone, addressing sensitive issues like suicide, sexual assault, self-harm, bullying, and teenage drug use. However, whilst the show's debut season was criticized for its handling of a suicide scene, which some felt was explicit to the point of being instructive, much of the first season's content was lauded for handling these intensely difficult issues with relative grace and subtlety. 
Once the show was renewed, though, the creators surprised everyone by opting to focus less on the casual misogyny of contemporary American adolescent culture and more on the intense physical bullying which is commonplace in high schools, replacing the smug villain Bryce with his more mindlessly aggressive teammate Monty. However, viewers who presumed that this thoughtless jock would be any less threatening were left shook by the explicit depiction of his sexual assault on the unsuspecting Tyler, whose subsequent trauma leaves him traumatized and arming himself up to open fire on the school dance. The grueling assault sequence itself spared no detail and left viewers in a state of shock. The scene was far more intense than anything the show had attempted before and understandably proved too much for many viewers. Number four, that inexplicable dramatic domestic violence episode, Family Guy. Seth MacFarlane's most famous animated offering isn't known for pulling its punches. Particularly since its renewal, Family Guy has been infamous for combining the family sitcom structure of The Simpsons with South Park's more risque and irreverent elements. The show doesn't shy away from controversial topics both in its jokes and plots, however it's not actually a tasteless joke that earned Family Guy a place on this list, but rather the odd, misjudged episode Screams of Silence, the Brenda Q story. Ostensibly parodying the format of melodramatic Lifetime movies of the week, at least judging by that title, the episode proper is a nearly humorless depiction of a battered wife struggling with her abusive partner until, spoilers I guess, the show's heroes kill him. To say it's a divergence from Family Guy's typical fare is putting it lightly, but unfortunately the writer's room didn't have the requisite dramatic chops to make the premise work, meaning that viewers tuning in expecting animated antics instead got a cut rate needlessly explicit made for TV melodrama. Number three, the terrifying Chucky slash Urkel hybrid Family Matters. Okay, so this one has to be the most famous entry on this list, or at least the most infamously dark. The beloved ABC sitcom Family Matters was originally envisioned as a spin-off from parent program Perfect Strangers, but the show soon became a vehicle for the character of Steve Urkel. Played in a career best turn by Jaleel White, Urkel was the perfect intersection between hilarious and insufferable, and carried many later installments of the long-running series on his back, and yeah, shout out to Jim Parsons who must have had a hernia after all of those years on the Big Bang Theory. However, sometimes the show's Urkel-centered approach backfired, as seen in the Halloween special where his ventriloquist's doll counterpart, uh, kills the entire family. That's it. That's the bit. The arrival of steve a scheming puppet who conspires to, successfully by the way, off the entire Winslow clan to gales of laughter from the studio audience, is one of the most deservedly infamous moments of unexpectedly dark TV. And before you ask, no, the impact isn't undone by the reveal that the episode is a dream. I mean, after all, 90 sitcoms did the it's all a dream gimmick all the time without using it as an excuse to off the entire cast. Number two, Homer loses his dignity, The Simpsons. There's no denying that The Simpsons is, unlike some of the shows included on this list, a genuine masterpiece and one of the defining cultural documents of an era. So how does a show this great, at least early on, manage to go too far? Well, the fifth episode of the show's 12th season didn't have much of the magic which used to make America's first family so beloved, and the installment contributed to its gradual decline as it saw the writers plumb darker depths than usual for laughs and come up with sighs in the process. In this episode, as Homer becomes Burns' prank monkey and partakes in an escalating series of public practical jokes which put his dignity on the line, the episode eventually culminates in an implied assault which didn't earn much mirth from the audience at home. The shocking scene feels out of place at best and horribly misjudged at worst, while the rest of the episode does little to alleviate this sour taste, making a point of ironically recycling old jokes and bits from other better episodes. Number one, the murder of Drew Sharp, Breaking Bad. By the time Vince Gilligan's masterpiece reached its fifth season, a few viewers could argue that the propulsive, intensely dramatic thriller was a light-hearted show. By now, the series had already explored overdoses, multiple murders, suicide, corpse disposal, and just about every conceivable human sin in its gradually escalating, blackly comic portrait of a man driven to desperation by an uncaring world. That said though, as seen when the tortured protagonist genuinely regrets endangering the life of a child during his usual meth-making shenanigans, the story of formerly mild-mannered high school teacher Walter White did have a few lines that it wouldn't cross, at least until the closing moments of season 5's fifth installment, Dead Freight. 
As relative newcomer Todd drew a pistol and murdered an innocent child in cold blood, the audience was left as shell-shocked as our pair of outlaw protagonists. Until this point, Jesse and Walt had at least only encountered criminals with some semblance of a conscience, and Todd represented a darker turn for the series as a whole. However, unlike many entries on this list, the turn was seen by many viewers as a positive development, with viewers approving of the amoral new villains. You see, by leaping over the threshold of too far so early on, Todd and Co. give us an excuse to revel in Walt's violent revenge later. It was clever, that. So that's our list. Once what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think about these TV moments? And are there any too far ones that I missed off here? While you're down there as well, could you please give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't though, I've been Josh. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.